upgrading the Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance software. In this nugget, I'm going to show you the fastest, most effective, and safest way to upgrade your ASA to the newest operating system image and the newest ASDM image. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to cisco.com and log in with your account and go to the download software area under support, the support link. And of course you can go in here and you can look for, for example, ASA 5500 series. Now if your account doesn't have access to this software, you need to find somebody in your organization who does have access to the software. What I'm looking for is the most recent release, first of all, of the ASA. So I'm going to go ahead and download, this is ASA 844K8.BIN. The version I have on my system now is 8.43, that's fine for me, I'm going to go ahead and use that version. I also want to download the most recent ASDM that's compatible with this particular ASA binary. I've already done that and those are on my desktop right now. So I've got ASA 8.43 K8 and I've got the ASDM 6.47. That works perfect for me. Now I'm going to do this in the Adaptive Security Device Manager uh, because it's less prone to user error and it's very fast and efficient. So I've downloaded the images to my management station and I'm running the ASDM on my management station. This ASA presently has 8.21 for the ASA and 6.21 for the ASDM version. I want to upgrade both of these. Now here's the most important thing. What I want to do right now is first I want to update my ASDM. Why? Well here's the deal and trust me I've made this mistake before and I want to save you some time and save you some headaches. So for example, if you were to go ahead and update through the tools on the ASDM, the ASA first right? And then I tried to access this ASA that with the upgraded 8.4 whatever image, this ASDM version 6.2 would not be able to access that operating system. So if I try to come back into the ASDM 6.2 again and get access to my newly upgraded ASA with its new binary, it would not be able to manage that device. Now, there's obviously ways we can get around that by going into the CLI, but the safest way to do this is to upgrade your ASDM first to the newest version, and that version will be able to now go and access and upgrade this 8.2. Fair enough? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to Tools and go to Software Updates. I'm going to upgrade this software from my local computer. And I want to upload the image for the ASDM. Remember, we're going to do that one first. Very important. Let's browse the local files. And here's the desktop. Here's the ASDM 6.47. Now, of course, when you're, whenever you're doing this, it's probably at a later date, you want to get the most recent version that you want for your organization. But I want this one right here. Click on Select. Now, where am I going to put this in my Flash file system? Well, Flash is disk zero. We can browse that real quick and we can see that's where it's going to put it by default. Now I've also got the old ASDM images here. I'm not going to delete these. I'm going to leave them here. Okay, my ASDM 6.2, ASA 8.2. I have plenty of, I have plenty of room for both. I'm going to leave these old ones here so I can revert back to them if I want to. And I can see other things like any connect images and here's my Cisco Secure Desktop, even a couple of dynamic access policy profiles in XML. That's kind of cool. But we're going to go ahead and say okay. Let's upload the image. Now it says the image has been uploaded to Flash successfully. Do I want to set this image as the ASDM image? I'm going to go ahead and say yes here. If I say no, I can actually do it manually after the fact. But let's go ahead and say yes. Okay, I get this confirmation. The device configuration is updated to use a new image. To use this ASDM image, you need to exit and rerun. All right, let's do that. Okay, let's run it again. 223, okay. Put in my password. Discovery, discovery, discovery. Okay, now I'm using the new ASDM version, right? 6.47, which can obviously manage and operate on the 8.2. But now I want to go ahead and update software from local computer, my ASA. This is local files. Let's go to uh, desktop, ASA 8.43, and it's going to put it in the flash file system there. Upload the image. Okay. Successful upload to Flash. Do you want to set this as the boot image? Yes, I do. Okay, the device configuration is updated to use the new image. Be sure to upgrade the ASDM. Well, I already did that. Okay, I did that first, and again, that's always the best practice, the way to go. To use this image, I have to do a reload. So I can go to Tools, System Reload, to do this. Okay, 
Tools, System Reload. Let's save the running config at time of reload. Let's do it now and schedule the reload. Yes. Load the current configuration from the device into the ASDM. And voila, here we are, ASDM version 6.47, ASA 8.43, and of course the new feature, we're going to have many new features with 8.4, Cisco Smart Call Home. Remind me later. Excellent. I'm Michael James Shannon, CBT Nuggets instructor. I hope this micro nugget's been informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing.